today in this session we will be going to discuss about the new concept of partnership that is known as reconstitution as the name suggests reconstitution that means any change to make the change in the agreement of the partnership due to any reason will result in the reconstitution of the partnership okay so this is the concept in which if there is any change in the existing agreement of the partnership then the partnership will come to an end and from that day onward the new partnership agreement will come into existence so this change in agreement of partnership due to the reason the reason in this are uh, if the partner do not want to continue their business in the existing profit sharing ratio they may change their agreement if there is admission of any partner if there is a retirement of any partner or death of any partner and if there is an amalgamation of two partnership firm so the case related with amalgamation of two partnership firm is not being discussed here so we will be mostly discussing the cases related with change in the partnership agreement due to profit sharing ratio then admission of partner retirement and death of partner so these are some of the reasons due to which the existing partnership agreement will come to an end and from that day onward the new partnership agreement will start okay and when all these things will take place so there will be a definite change in the books of account form because if there is a change in the agreement due to any reason so what will happen some partner may sacrifice his share and some partner may gain the share or maybe one partner may sacrifice or more than one partner may gain this may also be the concept so this gaining and sacrificing which is made by the partner against each other will help them in knowing this thing that how much amount is to be compensated by the gaining partners towards the sacrificing partner so all these things yeah all these are the various reasons due to which the reconstitution of the partnership agreement will take place now when the reconstitution of the partnership will take place so what are the various adjustments we have to make there are various adjustments which we are supposed to follow the adjustment related with the determination of gaining and sacrificing ratio the very first thing that we have to know that which partner has gained and which partner has sacrificed their ratio then accounting treatment of goodwill we have already gone through the calculation of goodwill now from this concept onward we will be going through the accounting treatment of goodwill that due to the reconstitution or change in the partnership agreement in which one partner has gained and the partner has sacrificed so how much amount is to be compensated by the gaining partner towards the sacrificing partner then comes the accounting treatment related with reserve take okay? there are number of reserves which are being created by us so how we will be showing the treatment of those reserves okay accumulated profits and losses also in the old balance sheet which are already there so how those amounts will be adjusted at the time of change in agreement then comes the revaluation of assets and liabilities also 
because change in partnership agreement gives the opportunity to the business organization or the firm that they can revalue their assets and liabilities and they can find out the difference in the amount of increase or decrease in the assets and liabilities so that in the new balance sheet the firm may record the new amount of assets and liabilities on the date of change in agreement okay then comes the adjustment of capital if the firm wants or all the partner wants their capital can also be adjusted so these are various adjustments which we have to make at the time of the change in the partnership agreement or let's say the reconstitution of the partnership due to any reason so these adjustments will be same in all the cases of the reconstitution only we have to see that how there will be the different in the working or the accounting treatment of the adjustment depending on the nature of the reconstitution in which we are following this adjustment okay so all these things are related with the reconstitution of the agreement why it takes place and what are the various adjustments which we have to make okay so let's discuss reconstitution of partnership that is the change in the agreement okay change in the agreement of partnership due to reason any reason it can be change in profit sharing ratio then admission of new partner then retirement or the death of partner these are some of the cases in which the agreement will change and then what are the various types of adjustment which we have to make so adjustment which we will be making at the time of the reconstitution are related with determination of gaining and sacrificing ratio then accounting treatment of goodwill then accounting treatment of reserve and accumulated profit and losses then revaluation of asset and liability and then adjustment of capital so these are the various adjustment which we are supposed to make at the time of the reconstitution of the firm now in this we will be taking into discussion the very first concept that is related with the change in the profit sharing ratio that the agreement is coming to an end and the new agreement will be started because the partners they are not interested in carrying their business in the old profit sharing ratio so the partners have decided to change their profit sharing ratio so we will be discussing that the concept of change in profit sharing ratio and then how we have to make these adjustments at the time of change in profit sharing ratio 
the very first adjustment that is related with the determination of gaining and sacrificing ratio the first thing what we have to find out the amount of share gain or sacrifice by the partner or the part so first thing what is the gaining ratio is the gaining ratio is that is formula new share minus old share that is new profit sharing ratio of partner minus old profit sharing ratio with the help of this formula we can find out the gaining ratio of the partner it is a share which is gained by one partner due to the change in the profit sharing ratio then comes sacrificing ratio the standard formula is old share minus new share okay by making the use of this formula we can find out the sacrificing ratio of the partner that is the share which is sacrificed by one partner in favor of another partner so these are by default the standard formula if it is said that what is gaining ratio and write the formula so we have to write this formula that is the formula for gaining ratio is new share minus old share and for sacrificing ratio it is old share minus new share so by making the use of any one of this formula we will be able to calculate the amount so we calculate the share of gain or sacrifice made by any partner okay